what is going on guys welcome back to the channel critical overlord here we're going to talk about a few different horror topics in this video here today we'll talk about smile 2 we'll talk about the creep tapes and we'll talk about seven a little bit now i want to start off here with smile 2 we just have a little over a month left until it's released smile 2's marketing seems to finally be going back to old tricks from the last film at the vmas last night this woman was spotted with a creepy smile now i don't know if this is the same person from the previous film's marketing but i expect we'll get more of these appearances or stuff like this over the next month or so maybe at some upcoming football game since it's football season naomi scott herself has called the film smile on steroids and i can say i kind of agree based on knowing how the movie plays out she was at the vmas and they asked her about the film and she seemed very excited for us to see it don't forget you have that single dropping tomorrow called grieve you by sky riley like i've mentioned that goes into the trauma bit after director parker finn talked to total film about what else we can expect from smile so he said with the mystery of the first one i thought it was really fun that now that the audience is familiar or he said i thought it was really fun that now that the audience is familiar it allows this new context this new way to position the audience they come in ahead of where some of the characters are i wanted to see can we use that to the film's advantage to be honest i didn't even realize that until just now with him pointing it out and that is true we are ahead of the characters and to answer the question can it be used to the film's advantage i mean placing a pop star at the center of your narrative is one advantage because viewers of the original who remember the lore and how this entity operates are already anxious about a very specific ending playing out so all smile 2 has to is toy with that anxiety and just build on anticipation to the ending many people are fearing is going to occur just play with that anxiety even though many people might say it's a predictable ending as long as the film is toying with that in all the right ways I think that'll be a, a, a brilliant way to use it to the film's advantage. What could hold the film back is having these scenes where you're waiting for characters to figure out what's going on and you already know what's going on because of what went down in that last film. So we'll just have to wait and see, but I trust that Smile 2 will end up being one of the better fun sequels that are released or that is released this year, this October. And I can see Naomi Scott's performance being a standout when it comes to the horror genre this year. Now we're going to shift gears into talking about Creep. Shudder has set a fall premiere date. This is coming from Deadline. They have set a fall premiere date for the Creep Tape. So the Creep Tapes is coming to Shudder. This is the next installment of the iconic found footage horror franchise, Creep, from writers and executive producers Mark Duplass and Patrick Bryce. Duplass reprises his leading role in the six-episode series, set to debut Friday, November 15th, on Shudder and AMC+. The series will launch with a two-episode premiere, followed by new episodes releasing weekly on Fridays on both platforms. The Creep Tapes, based on the Netflix original films Creep and Creep 2, in which Duplass starred, continues to unravel the mind of a secluded serial killer who lures videographers into his world with the promise of a paid job documenting his life. Unfortunately, as the tape rolls, the killer's questionable intentions surface with his increasingly odd behavior, and the victims will learn they may have made a deadly mistake. Now, I am really looking forward to seeing Peach Fuzz again. I definitely need to revisit those first two movies. And as usual, if you've been watching my channel, I will do my best to watch the series in advance and share my review when I can. Um, out of the two Creep films, I do recall favoring the first movie over the second one. The second one was fine. I just preferred what went down in that first movie over what went down in the second one. Although I do recall Mark giving a much more terrifying and rather uncomfortable performance during the sequel despite the screenplay and all the overall writing and the narrative not being as up to par as that original but i can't wait to watch the creep tapes can't wait to revisit this franchise and like i said i'll do my best to start reviewing it on the channel when i have access to these episodes now the last thing i am going to talk about here today is going to be scream 7 scream 7 we know is supposed to start filming this december this came to us from nev campbell many weeks ago at this point and it was supposed to shoot in september originally as well but kevin williamson's show the waterfront is keeping him busy until december now i just wanted to speculate on some things shout out to Kay and everyone else who have been sending me these recent more up-to-date articles about the waterfront's filming schedule how it mentions it's filming through december and how it might mean what scream spain said about filming started in january could possibly be true despite daniel rpk saying it's not let's pretend it is true 
That would mean that what I said several videos ago at this point about hearing filming starting next year is true. At the time of sharing that information though, I did encourage all of you, or at least everyone listening, to expect the film to shoot in September until further notice from the cast and crew. Then September became December, and now December might become January. My question is this. Nev obviously heard December was a tentative date or an official date, but if it was subject to change, why even mention December? And the crew themselves definitely know Kevin is working on the waterfront, so the only logical thing I can conclude is that the is that there was hope he would be able to finish the waterfront at a more reasonable time in early December, but since that's possibly changed, now we're possibly going to get a January start time so that everyone can enjoy the holiday season with their family. And then they'll start in January after the new year. I just don't fully follow what is with the back and forth at this point because of the fact that the waterfront filming through December was already reported during the summer. The area in which it was filming in the, the local news outlets, because I think it's filming in North Carolina, were already reporting that the show was supposed to film through December. So like I mentioned, that information has already been out there. That information is also something the crew possibly already knew about. The crew associated with already knew about the crew associated with Scream 7. So why is it that there is these constant shifts with the date? What is going on? <laughs> I want to believe that what logically occurred is that there was hope the waterfront would stop filming in early December before Christmas. But because of the fact that it now, again, just speculating, it might possibly shoot until closer to Christmas. They don't want to have Kevin just come out to where they're going to shoot Scream 7 in Atlanta and get right away started on Scream 7. They want to give the cast and crew time with their family for Christmas, New Year's, whatever it is they celebrate around that time of year. And then they'll start cameras for Scream 7 in early January. That's the only thing I can really anticipate or predict is what went wrong because if the waterfront had started or stopped filming in early december maybe they would have spent a few weeks in atlanta filming scream 7 paused it and then they would have returned in january but now since the waterfront again just speculating could possibly be shooting until mid-december closer to christmas they're not trying to rush everybody during the holiday season and they just want the cast and crew to enjoy the holidays with their family and they'll come and shoot scream 7 in atlanta after the new year let me know what you guys think about this down in the comment section below if you haven't already of course make sure you go ahead and subscribe turn on post notifications so you never miss a video in the description i'll have links on the social media accounts i'm on facebook twitter and instagram you can message me there of course limiters any movies news or reviews you'll have me to cover in the future and with all that in mind guys I will see you in the next video.